everyone, and welcome to Dumb Movie Monday. Oh, we have a treat for you today. Oh, you just wait and see, because this movie is one of the most drawly movies I've ever watched. I can't say it's the most stupid movie, but ah, uh, you'll find out from this adventure. Already, for some reason, this concerns me. Foxtrot Charlie One, I'm in position over the island and standing by. So all seems real right now, guys. You think this is going to be a kind of okay movie? There's some soldiers or pilots and they're doing their thing, you know, whatever. It seems pretty normal, seems pretty standard. But what you'll realize soon is that this movie is just dribble. Seriously, I'm already tired talking about it. Stand by. I've got something on the radar. Are you guys reading that? Oh my god. First thing that I have to say is... Uh, this guy obviously doesn't know what this thing is and there's a big Game of Thrones dragon in the sky with him And this is his reaction. Just listen to how horrible the acting is throughout this movie Particularly with these guys. It's like they got someone to just read the script and just some random person Hey, I'll pay you five cents to just read the script as is. Yes, as is Giant flying reptile. It's enormous <laughs> Damn fast. Request permission to fire no joy. He's just too damn fast. I'm hit. I repeat, I'm hit. <laughs> this is how someone sounds when they're panicking not that he has a panic but jesus christ a little bit more emotion than just freaking i'm hit i'm hit oh there's a big dragon in the sky oh no oh no i'm in danger i'm dying save me I'm fire. They set up the intro credits to this just one freaking Microsoft background. Reptosaurus. Repto- For sake, dude. I'm telling you, this is going to be one of these adventures. If you have your beer or whatever spirit you have nearby, take a huge swig right now because you're going to need some boldness and some vigor to make it through. We're introduced to these soldiers. Literally, this is the entire setting, the entire time of the movie with these horrible actors. People who are in danger, but the dialogue is just so bad and the acting is so bad. You don't even feel it. You don't even consider that they might be in danger. You're painfully aware that this thing that's chasing them is not a part of their dimension. And what I mean by that is the creature is just some after effect that they put on top of what they're doing. Now, while that's the case, you may be saying, Altiori, you're so stupid. That's actually what the case is. Yes. But it's not supposed to feel like that if we're watching a freaking movie, is it? Wait, this is based on a freaking comic book? We're dead. We're freaking dead. Free yourself together. Act like a real soldier. The recruiter never said anything about get my ass eaten. Look, we travel to exotic places and meet interesting things. And we kill them. Oh my god. This is so freaking cringe, my dude. If this is such a surprise to them, why don't I believe that they're scared? Oh, because they're not. Of course they're not. Because they're horrible at acting. Look, FYI, if you're not going to make it realistic, at least make it comical. What the hell are we going to do? We're not going to lose our heads. You got that? Now, I'm going to count. I'm going to make So these soldiers are trying to get away from Drogon over here. The thing that flies so horribly. And just some of the things that they do in this movie just make no freaking sense. The one guy leaves his comrade, runs away screaming, and this guy is continuing to fight all he can. But you see it coming towards you, and you still just, look at the way it's freaking pecking. It's like it's spazzing out. What the frick is wrong with this thing? Is it standing on its back toes as well? Like, the thing is, its feet are not even on the ground. Like, yo, its feet look like their own animal. Why are they, what the, hmm. Then watch, it runs after this guy, right? And you think that this guy would do everything he can to escape. That he would see it coming and try to hide or something. First thing he does, being chased by a dragon creature that you've never seen before, is you slow down, run like you're not being chased by anything, and decide to catch your breath, which is not how adrenaline works at all. Okay, so note to self, when something is in front of you and you're scared that it's going to bite you, it's either you do one of two things. You play dead or you run away. You know, there's this thing that we have, yes, it's called adrenaline. And we either fly away, 
flight or fight. We stand our ground or we play dead or we do whatever. What we're not going to do is put our hands in front of our faces like we're putting a blanket over our heads when we're scared of ghosts and pretend the thing's not there. I know that it's instinctive with other things because you're like, okay, if something's coming towards my head, instinctively, I'm going to cover my head to protect my head. But in a case where a huge ass demonic looking animal is about to eat you, most human beings, you know, granted natural selection hasn't been doing its job, but most human beings are going to try and run away even if they know the thing's going to eat them. They're going to run with their last breath to try and get away or they're going to fight. They're not going to put their hands in front of their freaking faces and just wish the dragon away. <laughs> the hell was that intro? These people got shipwrecked and they wash up on shore. I like how their shoes are all on perfectly and they, they, they have not a scratch on them. Apparently they were all very drunk. And I know this because they don't stop talking about it for a good five minutes. They're saying the same thing over and over again for a good five minutes. The dialogue is atrocious. It's like at this point, just like me, they didn't have a script and they're like, you know what? Let's just talk in circles until the director says stop. By the way, this blonde girl, I cannot stand her. She is the bane of her own existence. She is the most annoying character in this entire movie. Can't remember much of anything. Maybe because you are so drunk. This is all your fault. Could you please talk to her? I can't take this now. Jason, you had a few too many drinks, okay? Oh, come on, it's spring break. There's no such thing as a few too many. <laughs> oh, will you just shut up, Ryan? This isn't the time to joke around. I get that they added him for comedic effect, but nobody would behave like this unless they're still higher drunk. He comes off as being annoying himself and just really unrealistic if we're talking about a real life character. This is not the person that would exist around this time. And even if this person was a joker, right about now, he'd be the one freaking out and it would look comical while he's doing it, but he wouldn't be cracking jokes, being stranded on some random island and having almost met their death. Oh, I'm sorry. You're stranded on a deserted island. No food, no water, no beer. Holy shit, man. Stop. You call for help that way. Uh, salt water technology. You know, this is really gonna work, you know, babe. Do you always have to be such a prick? So everyone has the right to be really angry at this dude because he is really freaking annoying and just bumming everyone out. But here is. I guess that means Tori's not gonna be spring break queen. Screw off, Ryan. Oh my God. These people are so freaking annoying. They make this so hard to watch. Seriously. I don't even know why they put these people here. Yeah, the soldiers, and they wanted to make people more relatable, so they brought these dweebs in. But Jesus Christ, even if I was thinking about watching this movie, these things just make it so much harder to enjoy it. We're all scared, and you aren't making it any better. And Tori, now, as I recall, you're slamming a vodka pretty hard. Why don't you just knock it off with your drinking lectures? But I wasn't driving the boat. She does have a point there. If you're the person driving the boat, maybe you shouldn't be drinking as hard as everyone else depending on you for their survival. Steer a boat, Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> a swing and a miss. <laughs> God, they're horrible at this. I am trying my best. <laughs> I'm trying my best to get by this, but it is so unbearably bad. Jesus Christ. I can forgive the dragon for even looking like a freaking Lego piece covered in fossilized anal juice. But Jesus Christ, these people, they make it so horrible to watch the show. The only reason we're staying on this a little bit longer is so you can really get how horrible the dialogue is. So you can really understand that this movie was not made to be entertaining. It was made to cover up something else. Why the frick is she crying? She tried to hit him and she missed. She didn't even get touched. She fell on sand. The frick are you crying for? Three girls, two guys reporting for double duty, sir. Just give it a rest. What did I do? Things are bad enough without you picking a fight. Jordan Peele dude Jesus Christ they really miscast him for this role if he was the guy that was funny but he at least was more badass or even if he was comical but he was acting scared he would be a lot more palatable and the guy on the right dude you're trying to be mad oh god why am I even bothering why am I even bothering this is so freaking cringe Ugh. so the entire time this guy is just talking to his friend being like what are we gonna do they're just both being horrible actors like they're starring in a porn <laughs> Then they hear something and they're like, what's that? Because apparently they've never heard what a helicopter sounds like. It's weird because throughout this movie, you can tell that they use stock footage because it looks so drastically different than how the rest of the movie is shot. 
we do get into the setting where we see this doctor guy talking to the general or colonel, whatever he is. And he's like, we needed to have killed that dragon thing. They are responsible for this dragon's creation. This guy, I changed my mind. He's the most annoying character because even though the guy is trying to help him out, the colonel, the, the military guy is trying to help him out, he's always like, no, you're going to go down with me. You're evil. And the guy's like, we can find a way to fix this, but you didn't want to fix it. Like everything the guy says as a solution, even though they're both evil for what they did, this guy is like freaking crazy. And has no idea what he wants. Come on. Three months ago, the nightmare we created, you're letting it happen again. I've got my top field commander on that island. My best man, on the ground, ready to do a tough job. Your last best team is dead. You're doing it again. Throwing more in his lives than a meat grinder. Look, this is combat, Doctor. Search and destroy. Then we get this little problem taken care of. Little problem? Eight people died, General Morgan Steen. Okay. <laughs> he argues the same way a lot of sensey people argue today. The guy is telling him, both of them created this thing. They're they're both in cahoots with each other, right? So the guy is telling him, look, I'll take care of it. I know that you're upset. I know that this is, is what happened, but this is what happened, okay? I sent some guys to take care of it and they got killed. The guys that we saw at the beginning and this guy's like, yeah, well, they died, you know? And the other guy's like, yeah, well, that's what happens in combat. Sometimes we lose. I mean, we understand exactly what this creature is. It's not a surprise. Then he says something else, but because of the way he said it, I guess he didn't use exactly the words the other guy wanted him to use. He's like, little problem. Re, re, re. Like, dude, what is your problem? And it just gets worse and it goes on and on and on. And this is the reason why a lot of people break people's kneecaps. They need to be broken for them to come back down to earth because they're so freaking high up that maybe if you break their kneecaps and they fall and hit the asphalt because they can't stand up on their own twiggy little legs, they'll understand that, wow, I'm on earth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for reminding me. I kind of forgot there for a second. Do whatever my colleagues. They're still missing. You've lost several good men, as I can recall. I had no choice. Look, I gotta throw whatever and whoever I can at this mess until something sticks. But this is war. That's what these men get paid for. They get paid to go into harm's way. They knew what they were getting into the day they enlisted. I doubt if they could have ever imagined what you had in mind for them. Holy shit. This guy makes me want to take a pizza, stuff it in some shoes, put it in the freezer till it's nice and solid, take it out, put some fucking waffle syrup on it, and slap him square in the face with it. How stupid he is. But I wouldn't actually do that. It's kind of mean. But he really makes you want to do that to him. I mean, there's a lot of people out there saying that they would punch people just for having a different opinion. But there's some people who deserve to be punched because they're so goddamn stupid, and obviously their brain isn't screwed on properly. This guy is one of those said people. Now, I'm not saying this general guy is right but he is trying the whole idea is that they made this dragon and now they want to kill this dragon and this guy is trying to do everything that he can to do that i don't know what's the scientist's problem but it gets worse just watch his behavior oh you didn't even break them are you accusing me of callous disregard for the safety and well-being of american soldiers doctor hmm? please don't let my rank intimidate you just speak your mind go right ahead look there's blood on both our hands. I don't want any more on mine. And you've been paid quite well for it, as I recall. A little more won't stain you. Look, if it'll ease your conscience any, Major Dawson is en route to the island as we speak. He'll take care of the problem. Dawson? Holy shit. See what I'm talking about? Everything this other, the military general says, this guy has a fucking problem with it. You goddamn tadpole on a stick roasting over an open fire. What is the matter with you? He is doing what he can to try and take care of a situation that you helped create, mind you. And he's trying to put all the blame on this guy. No, he's not really putting all the blame on this guy. He says there's blood on both their hands. Like the other guy doesn't remember. Like, what are you trying to prove here, my dude? Clearly you're squirrely and you're having issues. The guy says, okay, I understand this is horrible, but it is what it is. The only thing we can do right now is to pay you for the trouble. I don't even know why they're doing that because as far as I'm concerned, this guy is partially responsible for the trouble. 
And maybe it's just his horrible acting and his face. I don't know what it is, but an amalgamation of all these things, this old discount Mark Ruffalo looking dude, it just rubs me the wrong way. He's such a freaking, you see, it really makes a difference how you are. Because like, okay, I understand you're frustrated. Say what you gotta say and then go away. But this guy is giving him the third degree or the fourth degree after his questions have already been answered. What else are you asking for? Oh, you know it. He's good. He's very good. Yeah. Yeah, I know him. <laughs> Pull that island to hell if it suits him. If it suits him, yeah. Why is that a bad thing? Don't you want this person to kill the dragon monster? The fuck is this guy's problem, my dude? What in the hell is your problem? Don't we both want this creature killed? this guy to drop dead in the office right now i'm on god i really do want this guy to just like no you're not drop dead <laughs> i'm kidding i want him drop dead he needs to die like he is specifically created so he can die i don't know what happened to him like near the end of the movie because he gets cut up somehow and he deserves it but he is so annoying he's a kid that is designed to have the niche for people to execute their frustration on him you know there's people who are just minding their own business and they're nerds and they're like okay whatever you know i can speak like that because i was a nerd too i was picked on as a kid but i kept to myself i was shy i was quiet i was weird but i didn't want to just come up on people and antagonize people so people picking on me you probably feel so bad for someone like me maybe you wouldn't you know it toughened me up whatever but for someone like him he's the kid that goes around antagonizing everyone and then when he gets beat up he cries bloody murder I wish I destroyed it myself. Then why don't you relax and let my men do their job? Look, the more noise you make about this, the more chance there is it'll leak out. And you don't want that, doctor, because you could be facing prison. Are you kidding? If I go down that pit, I will take you with me. Holy shit. Yo, the, the military general is the one who has obviously... The only brain that is still intact in his head. This mook is so unhinged that he deserves... Mm. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. But I just wanted to paint the picture here for you guys. So you can say it yourselves. So you can see how annoying this character is. He is the freaking Joffrey of this movie. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you can have faith in your god if you want. As for me, I'll trust in the good old United States Marine Corps. That's all. Yes, get your rank ass, milk coagulated, semen crustified anal cavern out of his freaking office and off the screen. Nobody wants to see you. You're annoying. If he was trying to nail an annoying character, he really did that very well. I feel so bad for you, dude. Like, you're not perfect, but you know. Whoo, this Marine is a strong, patient man because I would have done screamed at this guy and be like, get the hell out of my office. Anyways, Dawson, the general guy barking in this guy's face right now, meets the civilians and now Jordan Peele and him and the rest of the friends are going to be led around by these guys because they're not supposed to be here. Them being here was totally an accident as they've said before. Now there are some things I find really stupid about this movie. Seriously. And here are, it's just, I think what it is, okay, you can have bad acting and then you can have really bad dialogue. You know, it doesn't really do any favors if you have bad acting and have bad dialogue. And this is what the scene embodies. And it's so embarrassing. Like if I was aspiring to actually be an actor and I wasn't just laundering money or whatever, I would actually want people to not see this because I don't want myself to be represented this way. You know, when the dragon is still, like, this is a nice background here. It actually looks cool like this. When it's moving, not so much. So they ask, what the hell was that thing? Yada yada. They're all up in their faces and like, tell us now. And they're like, get out of our faces, dude. Stop 
it? Why? Now let's get that with some dialogue so you can see how cringy the dialogue is. <laughs> and trust me, it, it's throughout this entire movie. This movie didn't have to be made, to be honest. The movie has no real goal. Okay, the goal is to kill the dragon, fail at it a few times, and then blow it up. Because with every single one of these dull, low-budget monster movies, the end result for the monster is always being blown up by something. I promise you. Look at all the dumb movie Monday stuff. Something always gets blown up. Look at the long list of playlists that we have for low-budget movie Monday stuff and look at the ending just just skip to the end of the videos and see how they defeated the monster and some of them i don't show it because i want you to actually watch it yourself but trust me they all end up the same way blow up the monster shove a bomb in its mouth lead it over a mine blow it up drop a bomb on it it always ends in a freaking explosion there's never another way that they kill these things that that's it that's the one way that you kill it you blow it up Spoken like a true American. What the hell was that? And don't tell me it's classified. You weren't supposed to be here. You weren't supposed to see that either. Man, I'm sorry we rained on your parade. But what was that thing? Back up. Come on, man, it looked like it was gonna eat us. That thing, it could have killed us. You don't think the soldiers know that, Alfonso? Ready for some more horrible dialogue? <laughs> that thing, man, it was like 30 feet long. Yeah, right. Try about 15. Smart ass. Okay. What the hell's wrong with these people? Like, seriously. <sighs> Wow, I'm getting so tired already, and we're not even halfway through. Well, I'm sorry, I forgot my tape measure. <laughs> Get me out of here. Okay, and that girl, the way she's crying, she does that, these fake alligator tears the entire movie. Jesus Christ, I hope that she gets killed by the dragon. Ooh, so anyway, next coming up, the other cringy dialogue is the soldier, you know, he has a point. If these civilians are going to be nearby, they have to have a way to defend themselves as well. It helps if more people are shooting at this thing, even though clearly that doesn't work, than just two soldiers. So he hands him a pistol and is like, can you handle this? And this is the interaction. This is the exchange. <laughs> Tell me, you military men or Marines who are watching, if somebody replied this to you, responded this to you when you asked them if they can handle a firearm and they answered you this way, would you give them the firearm? Just saying. Just answer honestly. Okay, I may be surprised by your answer, but this didn't sit too well with me. Son, do you think you can handle this? Figure it out. You sure? I said I'll figure it out. Just because you can rack a pistol doesn't mean you know how to use it. And if someone says that they'll figure it out, that is the quickest way to end up with a fucking bullet in the back of your head because someone doesn't even know the basics of gun safety. What the frick is wrong with these guys? I understand this is a life and death situation, but these soldiers were sent initially before these people came into the picture to take care of this dragon thing. They should still be professional and they should still act like they have training regardless of whether or not the civilians are there. Have they ever considered that if one of these civilians end up shooting each other or shooting you, that the mission is a bust? Jesus Christ, it's so unrealistic. It's so stupid, it makes my ears want to fall off. We get some more footage of the general and this stupid Joffrey idiot. Can't stand him. Let's take a look at some more of the cringiest dialogue from the guy in the blue shirt. It's very hard to relate to this person with him being such a cock. About the man, as far as I can tell, he's been in the service since high school. Obviously, he didn't have too many other prospects. Dawson earned the rank of captain by the time he was 25. You know what that means, doctor? All right, so this guy started to tell him about the guy he's talking about. Dawson, the guy who's in charge on the island right now with those stupid civilians. This guy, the army, the military, the military forces, that's been his life all along ever since he was out of high school. So that means that he's the best man for the job. This guy is trying to assure this mook that the guy that you're bashing right now is the one who is risking his life right now, going into the fray to take care of that thing that you want taken care of. And all this guy can sit down and do is bash him. He's an officer. We don't make people officers unless they've got a college education, but somehow Dawson bypassed all that. Field promotion, right? Yeah, battlefield promotion, right. He defied coalition orders and took his recon unit into Iraq. High coalition orders. Oh yeah, that's commendable. Yeah, it is. Don't stop, just drop it, girl. You gotta put it in the He defied orders to rescue crew and patients from a downed Red Cross helicopter. By the time he and his men arrived there, the Republican guard had shot the pilot in the kneecaps just for sport. And they were getting ready to rape one of the nurses. Well, Dawson and his men made sure they died for that. Each and every one of those Americans is alive today, thanks to him. And you know what he got for his trouble? A book. 
seems so commendable, right? He's letting this guy know that this is the guy for the job. This is the kind of guy that would risk hell and high water to do what he needs to do that is right and follow out his orders. We are okay. He's gonna get this taken care of. He's basically assuring him, letting him know, like, the guy you're mocking, this is the kind of guy that he is. He's not just a soldier. He's a good man. And this is the response. Apparently the only one that'll rim job here can muster. Yeah, well, that's all very heartwarming there, General. Don't you forget, I've seen this guy in action. He is ruthless. Yeah, that's another thing I like about him. So this guy is upset. Because the guy that they have sent in to take care of this monster is ruthless. Really, bitch. You want somebody who's hard and who is willing to risk his life to take care of your problem that you created, who can get the job done, and your number one complaint is that he's ruthless. Oh my god, I've seen the guy in action! <laughs> oh my god, and he's ruthless! You stupid little bitch. Oh my god, I fucking hate this guy. I hate this character. What is the entire point of even this scene? Why is this scene in the movie? Like, why is this necessary? Are they trying to character build for Dawson? Because they're making this guy not look good. Why? What is the whole purpose of him being in here? Jesus Christ. Oh, I've never hated the character so much. You know what? Right now, I will say this. Yes, I will say this. Joffrey from Game of Thrones. <laughs> looks like a cherub next to this human feces in a blue shirt that he bought from fucking Walmart. Dawson finds the other colleagues and yada yada, they try to find a way to kill the dragon. I'm trying to keep my cool. I'm so sorry, you guys. I've been avoiding movie Mondays for a while if you haven't noticed, but here we are. So Dawson leads the other guys out. He's the only name that I know because he's the only one that's important, apparently. And he's the least worst actor of this movie. He hears something and they're like, maybe we should take a break. This is the other part that annoys me. The other annoying character is that blonde chick with the fake crying. She can't complain properly. Her whole purpose in this movie is to be the annoying little mosquito constantly swinging in your ear that you want to spray rain on the entire duration of this film. <laughs> we need to rest. Look at the girls. No. No, wait, stop. That thing's gonna attack us. Look, I can keep going. We all can. <laughs> Got <laughs> Oh, I want her to die so badly. Oh my god. It, I don't feel sorry for her. I, I like the other girls. They're okay. I don't even like them. I don't care about them. That's a good thing. But this girl, I actively want her to die. I want her to meet her demise really quickly. <gasps> Are you freaking serious, dude? Does this remind you of anything? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Whose cone did she have to sign to get this role? <laughs> Maybe just a moment. I hate these people so fucking much. Oh god, I'm starting to breathe in the toxicity. Diversity. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? <laughs> of this stupid movie. And I'm at the point where things are starting to be very funny now. But but that's gonna change real soon. Because guess who it is? Guess who we get to see on screen once more? Dr. Carr is alive and on the island, along with a handful of civilians. Civilians? Witnesses. You're gonna have to rescue them. Okay, he's saying the right things here. Can't blame him. But for the duration of the movie, just, 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 he's still just so unbearable. Even when he's being a good person, or at least trying to be, he comes off like he's the villain of the movie. There's a whole bunch of shooting, and then at one point the dragon is not flying properly. And, oh, Jesus Christ, the, the, the graphics are so horrible. How many bullets have they put into this thing at this point? Look, it's not flying properly. Now we get the other issue that I'm talking about when people are being attacked. It's so annoying and so unrealistic. What's going on? Are they playing an arcade game? Ah! What? Why? Why was he? What? What are you doing? Why are you closing your? Oh, Jesus Christ! You know what these people were asking to die. I think at that point they just gave up and like, you know what? Just kill me. Just don't get my face. Cause there is no way, shape or form, that if you see something coming after you like that, you're just gonna stand there and put your arms in front of your face jesus christ and of course they defeat the dragon by blowing it up but there's something even more afoot that you think that this would be a happy ending right all is well yay yippee ki -yay, son yippee ki -yay. oh no that's not it because we find out something really horrible and they had to end it with a cliffhanger 
except the cliffhanger makes no sense. And you'll understand exactly why when I show it to you. First of all, aren't those military off? <laughs> I'm sorry, holy shit. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Hmm. These guys are members of the Marines, right? Right, like, are these Marines? They are members of the Marines, right? Are they not Marines? Are these Marines? I'm just wondering. Cause last time I checked, to be a Marine, you, uh, okay. Whatever, let's move on. Oh god, it's not even funny. It's not funny. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? I'm sorry. You know what? Fuck it. It is funny because it's so unrealistic. Like, come on, dude. Yo, that's like someone taking my dad. And my dad is a big gut. He has a dad gut now. And putting him in the Marines and be like, yeah, this is a soldier. Yeah, of course. That's believable. Sure has been destroyed. You think you've won this one, but you haven't. Oh my god, here we go again. What is this dude's problem? Wait, wait, what? You... What, what? What is- I feel like I'm arguing with a sensei, and I'm not even arguing. This guy is like, look, I'll do this for you. I'll take care of it. I'll get my men to take care of it. None of us have to worry about it. We'll get it taken care of. Not saying the general or the, the marine guy is like this perfect little pussy. Yeah, I think Seriously, he is trying. At every, at every turn, this guy is like, you can't do this. You can't do that. Well, well, he's just always fighting you. It's like on principle, anything that you say, he has to go against it. Like certain people in the media. What the hell is that? I don't know, but if cats could sing. But now the guy's like, you got what you wanted, it's dead. And the first response is, you think you've won. And like, what the fuck? Bitch, we're on the same side. Are you okay, dude? What are you talking about? He'll need to send another team to the island. Why? Uh, isn't he the one that was upset? Where the fuck I am? Isn't he the one that was upset because the guy was sending a second team in the first place? to complete the job that the scientist guy, the doctor guy wanted him to complete in the first place because both of them wanted that dragon dead. But this guy is like, you can't send another team, you're killing men. The guy's like, they know what they're signing up for. Then he's like, no, you gotta send another team. Like, but, but when you hear why, <laughs> when you hear why this is the case, you're gonna shit yourself. You're gonna be like, really, bro? Really? This entire time you took up so much unnecessary screen time and you tell me this? Oh my god. Just watch. I go just watch what happens. Because the life form we created was asexual. A creature that reproduces asexually, it doesn't need another of its species to procreate. We created this thing to be able to reproduce on its own. A method of survival, if you will. We call it a design flaw. Are you trying to tell me that there are more of these creatures out there? Maybe I missed something because my mind went to go eat grass while I was watching this movie or while this movie was watching me because it was so unbearably boring. But with all the talk and bravado this guy had had in this Marine guy's office before, why was that not mentioned sooner? Why did you wait for this guy to complete the mission before telling him that, yeah, by the way, um, make sure you actually do clear off the island after you take off the civilians or everybody because, well... Very big piece of important detail information. Um, well, I don't know. It can reproduce without having to breed with another member of its species. So chances are, like a goddamn tapeworm, it's already bred. Yo, oh my God. This was deplorable. You know what? If people are wetting money up, and I just say that, because if you're breaking batting your money and you're creating movies for this purpose, because that's what people claim that is. I don't know if that's true, but that's what people say. They said, they just make these movies for money laundering. If that's the case it would probably help if you make the movies a little bit more believable in the story writing so people are not on to you because then it's just so painfully obvious just saying anyways let me stop before the cartel comes and finds me anyways jesus christ this movie was atrocious Woo! playstation one graphics eggs Rawr! that was a stupid movie oh god i am so tired i need to go right now i am so sorry you guys want to watch this have fun Anyways, thanks so much for watching. This is Adult Yuri. You ask, we answer.